chair and what a privilege it is Yes, we'll be, we'll be here tonight. I think, uh, I am one of many thousands who can only say I'm still alive today for what the Greeks did for us in Greece and Crete, how they hid us from the Germans, how they fed us. They were starving with them, 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 themselves with their chicken legs, like you know. And the Germans, they were very, they, they treated us as soldiers and they were all right, to, but they were very cruel to the civil population. Very, very cruel to, to what they done to the, to, 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 to the civil population. We went, we went across to, <laughs> uh, to, 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 to Greece after we come out of the de desert to Palestine for a rest and then we went across to Greece. And the Greek, the Greek army at that time was up there battling against the Italian army. And they were giving the Italian army a bloody hide and a bloody good hide. And they were all right. Germans decided to invade Greece, it was a different situation for everybody because the British and the Australians and the New Zealands and the Greek army there were battling like anything against the mighty German army and the German army had the full support of the Air Force which give us buggery and we didn't have one plane in the air by all stories you might have read and so forth. We had no, no air force at all. And what we used to travel by night, and we, we used to, I used to call them the mountains. We used to climb the mountains at night, and then in the night, and during the day, well, then we had other problems like, yeah. and uh, <coughs> today, a lot of stories have been told, but a lot, a lot of stories have not ever. Stories have never been told of the heroic, the ration of, of the Greek people in, in the way they beat, they beat the, 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 the German parachuters, and how the British Navy and the Australian Navy destroyed the sea invasion of Crete, which made a big turning point in the in 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 the in the war and I and as I say I can't think that here I am 92 years of age Still bear a bit of lead in, in this right knee of mine that I got in, in Greece, so I could always remember like that. And I only said to my uh, that bloody crook about three weeks ago, I said to the boy doctor, I said, if I was a dog, you put me down, why don't you put me down? But here I am tonight. <laughs> Privilege to the monks, like you know, in Greece and Crete, the way they fed us in their monasteries and hid us and looked after us and everything like that. Like these stories uh, 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 have been told at times, but not good enough, like you know. And if you do, it's been a lot of lots been said here tonight, and uh, and uh, and I'm a bit of a, uh, a reader and, and so forth and. And I love politics and hate politicians and so forth. Like, you know, and uh, I, I, I know like the history, uh, like you know how, like for instance, the the battle in Greece and Crete, and particularly the one in Crete, 
how it slowed up the Germans' invasions and what happened in the in Russia and everything like that at the time, like you know, and how today we really enjoy the freedom that we do through through these great sacrifices that people have made while we as soldiers and so forth and here. We, we, that was part of our duties, but also the civil population, well, we've got to always be very grateful the way they looked after us. And, and it's a, a privilege for me to be here tonight, and all I can say is thanks very much, and I will never forget the Greek people that made us.